Hey guys, how we doing? Finally got the camera up and rolling here. I did a video the other day, but this camera has a hard drive on it and it downloaded on the hard drive and I can't put the CD in my computer because my computer don't have a CD drive. So, I had to mount the CD card and get that set up so I could record. So, here's the table, it's all done. Give you guys a view of it. Should put that on there. But that's what I ended up doing with the top. That was that ugly white and brown. And then the chairs. Should put these Santa Claus things on them. Yeah, them came out really good. I did the legs in a black and then around the rim I did the black. Around the edge. And I just had the barn siding top. It was just so, I had a black, I had a gray, I had it all different things, but <clears throat> the colors, the black just showed too many flaws in it. I mean, it looked like I did it with my sock. I mean, seriously. Let me get this stupid thing on here. Come on. Um, yeah, the finish just kept, every time I'd let it dry, it looked real good when I first did it. And I did it with the chalk paint too. So that I could get, try to build up a finish and get rid of some of the flaws, but there was just so many. It just didn't look good at all. I mean, the black was awesome. It was cool, really cool black. I know all the red takes away, but yeah, it, um, can't get any light down there. It's too dark. Um, yeah, the, the chairs came out awesome, though. I mean, light is awful. There we go. Yeah, the chairs came out good. I clear coat them, clean the cushions, we scrubbed those, those came out really nice and shiny, so I mean for the money, it's the table, I may end up selling it after Christmas, I don't know, it's just, it's still a little big in here, but she had to have the table for now, so, it's there, it's done, that's been, that was over a week, um, I have a picture up here of my son's table, that guy just got that done, his football table, here's my other one, that came out really good, I did that one in the black, but I do like three different finishes on it. I tried a gloss clear coat. No, that didn't work. So now I did a, it's a matte finish on the top. Um, it's got the claw legs, the gold, if you can see them. And then the sides had the gold. Yeah, I put it up before. So it's just on Marketplace now for sale. But with Christmas, there ain't a whole lot of people and she did the trees. All decorated or fake uh, ficus or whatever you call them. And the Christmas tree. So between working on that table, my son's table that I just put, he just came picked up yesterday. And there's the coffee table, another table. But we just got a couple little things. Usually, she'll like wrap all the pictures and stuff and wrapping paper and make them all. But my grandson, all them ain't gonna be here this year like we had planned. So she's doing a little less stuff this year. I mean, usually I build a um like right down the wall. Underneath his picture, that's my grandson, my buddy. I had that, my sister's made that for me a while back. It's a big canvas oil painting. It's also my favorite, most favorite picture in the world. My little buddy. Um, a lot of times underneath there, I'll build a fireplace out of the artboard and then sit and cut out all the bricks and make the flames with the lights and all that. But this year, we said we got like a lot less people coming over and a lot less people doing anything. So it's just gonna be more close family. Um, my daughter and son-in-law and grandson they moved out of town, so they're not gonna be over like we usually normally have all the kids over and everybody. So the two boys will be here. The uh, parents. I might bring it. I might do a video of it. I might not. I don't know. We'll see. I might just let the video run for a little bit and watch the party going on and everybody having fun. And just add some music, music, Christmas music to it, you know. So, I'm going to download this video. I did a pour. Oh, yeah. And I I put it on the... I videotaped it, but it didn't come out. Because it was on the hard drive. So, here it is. That's what I got out of it. <clears throat> I make it out really neat, except for... I've been screwing up on my glue mixture. I This is my second one. I mean, that's like a... This light is so bad. But if you look down here, let me zoom in. 
See the cracks? Yeah. My glue mixture was off and it dried. I had the crinkles in it. It's like, I mean, they're sort of, they're not really obvious, but when you look at them close, yeah, it's there. I mean, they're there. And I know it's probably going to chip off and fall off. But it was a cool painting. I mean, it came out really neat. If I can get the colors right. There it is. And those are like a blue bubbles. Yeah, my shadow's in it now. It's really hard on these to get a good picture of stuff. Um, oop, wrong way. Because the colors, when you look at them in your camera, they aren't near what they are in your eyes. And But we're going to put some more pores up. Um, this was just a one my daughter had brought up about um, probably one without the black. So this is going to be a blue and gold and white is what it was. But I'm going to be doing some other ones here coming up. I just got, in, I got some supplies and cups and that's all I was waiting for was I needed some extra colors. So there will be some more pores coming up. That's my old one. That's my one I did on the picture frame. I use that for my. That one came out pretty cool. I mean, it's really different. It's lots of cells, but that's my base for that. My plastic set on. Yeah, I got a bunch of canvases, lots of paint. So we're gonna wrap up and we're gonna get some of these going. I just wanted to show you guys that because I didn't get the video of it. It sucked because I I did the whole video and I went to watch it and realized I couldn't get it off the camera. Like yeah, but it came out pretty cool. Had not been for the drying and cracking on that like second day, I noticed it. Third day, I was like, "What the?" I was like, "Ah!" I tried to add a little water to it to see if it would level itself back out, but it's just too thin there. And the glue, I had that happen on one of my other ones. It crackled. One of my sons, um, it ah, uh, what do you call it? Um. I guess they call it crackle and it's some people are doing it intentionally but I didn't want that on that one to be a nice smooth pour well you'll see in the close-ups I think I got a couple of them where it crinkled a little bit on the edges or the glue my glue mixture was off really bad and that's my own fault because I was in too big a hurry trying to do it and rush doing all three tables at one time because I would do one table then another table paint a little bit on this one go paint a little bit on that one and then paint a little bit on this one because it waiting for each thing to dry so and in that rush, I mixed up my glue. Okay, later.